This three-minute news clip gives an excellent brief summary of the Global Consciousness Project. A question tonight, can you actually measure the emotional outpouring in a worldwide crisis? Some scientists think that they have done just that. Their machines and computers found a bizarre pattern right after several global disasters. CBS 2's Brendan Keefe explains this phenomenon. September 11th deeply affected people far beyond New York and Washington. The attack sent shockwaves around the world, a global reaction that triggered a spike in a network of scientific instruments, just like a seismograph during an earthquake. Each of those showed a similar pattern of change during that day. Retired Princeton scientist Dr. Roger Nelson believes the emotional focus of millions of people on a single event like 9-11 may form a global consciousness. Does consciousness interact directly with the physical world? To answer that question, Dr. Nelson and his colleagues deployed dozens of instruments around the world, random number generators. Basically, they're electronic coin flippers. Instead of heads or tails, each generates a one or a zero 200 times a second. If you flip a coin 100 times, you'd expect a result of about 50-50, 50, 50, 50 heads and 50 tails. But what if every time you flip that coin, it came up heads? Not once, not twice, not 50 times, but 60, 70, or even 80, all of them heads. We do that every second at each of, um, now we have about 65 places around the world. When truly random, the line of data wanders back and forth around 50-50 in a pattern the researchers call a drunkard's walk. And then in 9-11, it begins not being a drunkard's walk. It goes like this for two days. It may sound bizarre, but Dr. Nelson and his team have been at this for the better part of a decade. The first spike showed up in 1997 with the death of Princess Diana. Other events like the Concord crash, the Madrid train bombing, and the Pope's funeral all registered on those random number generators. But early on the morning of September 11th, the data went off the charts. Several hours before the first plane hit. We don't know how to explain that. There's nothing there. Jeff Scargill, a research astrophysicist with NASA, admires the team's use of scientific method, but questions its results. It's finding patterns in random data. The, the nature of randomness is that any pattern uh, that you want to choose ahead of time will eventually show up, and uh, just as an accident. It could happen by chance, but the chance is like one in a million or one in some really large number. How does it work, and what does it all mean? Even the scientists don't know. The implications go beyond science into philosophy and religion. All we know is this. At this very moment, around the globe, the random number generators keep flipping those virtual coins, waiting to record our collective reaction to the next major world event. At Princeton, Brendan Keefe, CBS 2 News. For more information, Go to globalconsciousnessproject.org. Try the media information page or just explore the website.